When will the boat begin, Abbas? Twelve able lords of Lincolnshire have already cast their stones. But they have reached a tie. Four votes for each man. It now falls to you to break this impasse. Me? By whose order? You have earned the trust of our three candidates, it seems. Even our bishop has found a certain fondness for your hardy spirit. Elfgard and Humboldt were attacked recently, and your bishop remains fearful. It's clear someone wants this stopped. They tried, yes, but they did not succeed. Praise be to God. I kept them safe, not your God. I pray that God guides your vote today, and not the devil, as I fear. Grim, good to see you again. A hearty hello, Drenger. Seems Britain is getting quite used to the idea of Danes stalking her shores. Where do you fall in this contest, Grim? Elfgard is a friend of yours, is he not? He is. And a good man as well. But I cast my stone for the bishop. The bishop? That's an odd strategy. These Christians are easy to nudge about. So desperate they are to avoid a good fight, they'll agree to most anything a Dane says. How are you, Lord? Have I heard aright that you have come to break us from our deadlock? I have, Lord. Have you any advice before I vote? Lord Hundbeor was a bold and honest man, if somewhat reckless. I see the same qualities in his son. Therefore, Hunwald is my man. King Cheowulf's attendant, aren't you? Aye. The king sends his love and support. Whatever happens here today shall have his full blessing. He is learning fast. Good man. Good evening, Alfgard. Eivor, I hope it's not untoward of me to solicit your support, but I do need it. The vote is closer than a cat's whisk. It's a difficult choice, Alfgard. Know that I won't make it lightly. Good, good. But let me say unreservedly that I am the man who will lead Lincolnshire into progress and victory. I don't doubt your convictions, Lord. A vote for Hunwald will return the house of the ferocious swan to its former glory. Bishop, Eivor, I must thank you for your fearless participation in our moot. I'm surprised to hear you vouch for me, Bishop. I surprised myself, to be honest. But I felt it would be a good test of God's faith in my judgment. Under my guidance, this Shire is crawling back from a decade of lawlessness. God knows the love that lives in my heart for the people of Lincolnshire. I pray now that he guides your hand accordingly. Quite a gambit, Bishop. Mad enough to work, it may be. Well then, I thank you for what it's worth. God go with you. How fair you, Lord. My prayers are fervent and my will is strong, Eivor. If I am Elderman, I will bring joy to this Shire. There's more to good leadership than merrymaking. You must be strong and stern and willing to take risks. Of course, of course. Strength and wisdom and fortitude and all that. I shall rise above the peat moss of mediocrity. Have no fear. That's good to hear. <laughs> Three men, three possible futures. Which of these sad puppets will dance best when you call upon them? It's not for myself I must cast this stone, but for my clan. Who will serve us best in a time of true need? You can never be certain where you stand in another's heart. 
Choose only for yourself. All three have strengths and weaknesses. Humboldt is not the most cunning or clever, but he has heart and spirit. Both go a long way in times of need. Though tinged with arrogance, Alfgar is competent and wealthy. He'd be a good elderman, but a faithful ally? The bishop can be stuffy and wallows in Christian piety. But he is wisest of the three, and has already proven himself. Hunwald is not the most cunning or clever. But he has heart and spirit. Both go a long way in times of need. Lead your shire with pride, ferocious swan. It is decreed by this lawful Shire moot that the Elderman of Lincolnshire shall be son of our dear and departed Lord Hundbjorn, Lord Hunwald of Lincolnshire. I... I don't know what to say. I thank you deeply, madly, Humbly. What more can I say? I... I don't know. I miss my father. I'd sooner see him standing here than... Well, I will do my best. For each and every one of you. Let us all raise our cups. A toast to our new elderman. No. This Shire Moot's decision is not final, but advisory. It now falls to our newly anointed King Teowulf to ratify our choice. To this end, we need not worry. Teowulf is a friend to Saxon and Dane alike, and he is sure to approve the results. Our good and noble friend, Arvelswith. A septic rot has overtaken this shire. A sickness for which there is only one cure. Your grace! What is this? Nobles of Lincolnshire, stand fast! For the glory of the ancients, leave none alive! God welcomes a new elderman. This one's gone. Find those who still draw breath. Polish your ass, Humboldt. 
The ultimate seat is yours. As your war council, I suggest you waste no time in catching this grief totter. You won't be far. We should first bury our dead, no? That choice is yours to make, Elderman. Yes. Yes, of course. We'll bury our dead, then raise a feared. I am at a loss for words. A trusted man of the cloth. <coughs> I will pray for these martyrs and tend to the remaining wounded until the last man walks free. Be well, Archer. And you, Eivor. May God or... or the gods protect you. <laughs> attack and in broad daylight the hatred that eats at that what news Humboldt? we've learned that herivrith rode for the fort at anicastri following the massacre i have assembled a fiat there quite a large one in fact they eagerly await your orders eivor you mean your orders selderman ah yes that's right my orders which are which are what exactly who can say ride with me to your camp and we'll find out together Herivrith was a friend of my father's and always so dear to me. I don't understand what possessed him. He invoked the name of an ancient order before his men attacked. I know exactly what possessed him. Do you? It's not a story for now. This will send waves of disgust through all the parishes of Mercia. Herivrith is a new and ugly stain on the bishopric. Your Christ was an interesting man, if a little soft, but stranger still. I've met so few Christians like him. Today has been a boon, Eivor. 
In spite of everything, I now know my father's spirit still burns within me. It's thanks to you I know this. When songs are sung of the day Lincolnshire was saved, your name will ripple through every stanza. Don't be hasty, Von Wald. One verse of our song remains unsung. The din of battle beckons. You pagans and your appetite for battle. I certainly don't share it. I worry what diabolical feast the bishop has in store. Don't let that poxy bishop worry you. With Eivor beside us, he'll be victuals before long. How has Acha taken all this? She and Herevrith were so close. She must fail as though the devil himself attacked her monastery. The poor lady. We spoke briefly. Her spirits were low. We are the men of Lincolnshire. Remember it. My ancestors fought with the old kings of Lindsay. It's for their memory we fight today. Our warsmith has arrived. The Feards are ready to fight. Chieftain Avril, can we win this fight with the men you see assembled here? If they fight with the bravery of double their number, we may. And is there room in your Valhalla for a ferocious swan? Of course. Let fly your glorious banner. Are we ready, then? We attack now. Ready the feared. Our first task will be to breach the outer wall. Then we deal with the troops inside. Give them mead and let them rest. Mm. The best way to breach is with a battering ram. I should help it along.
send this. Point me to the bishop. No one else need die today. He he's he's in the chapel there, hiding away. Scabrous coward. Let no one leave that church without facing judgment. Tabas in Philly Solo to Let me 
I'll stage your welcome. Here's the target. Shoot it. I died the day I hid behind these robes, this cross. To bring the light of my order to a wider view, I debased myself. Clawed my way to the top of this common religion, full of common men. I should have lived as the ancients did. That's the folly of mankind, Hiravrid. We wallow in our failures like happy pigs in a sty of shit. We should have learned to enjoy it. Evil. Is he... Is the bishop dead? He bled too little and talked too much. Now he's gone. I won't miss him. But Atcha will need some time to grieve. Lincolnshire is yours to lead, Elderman. The hardest fight begins now. The din of battle still rings in my ears. I think I now know what it means to be a leader. Good. I would ask a favor, if I could. Name it. As Elderman, my life may be a dangerous one. For a time, anyway. Would you allow my Swanborough to take refuge in your settlement? At least until I feel all danger has passed. We'd be happy to have her. Thank you, my sturdy Norse berserker. 
the mead halls of my shire will be lonely without you stomping about. Our people are bonded now. We must look out for one another. Blast it. I am a horror with goodbyes. It'll do for now. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Rantvi. Let's tell her the good news. All right, bring out my lieutenant. Would like to reorganize the
found who you needed? I have to go. Lincolnshire is a friend to us. Wonderful news. And who is our ally there? The boy Hunwald is the new elderman of Lincolnshire, and he has sworn allegiance to us. The loud one, an elderman? Well, should he ever wish to call for aid, he need only shout. Want to see the Alliance map? Tell me about Jorvik. Hytham says there are three more targets there. If that is true, you are in luck. Our old friends Jor and Ljuvina have made their homes in Jorvik. Both had status and influence in Norway, so they may have valuable insights into the city's politics. That would make my work easier. What say you then? I will go now. Do you know where I might find Hjor and Lufina? When entering a new city, it is best to ask around the ports. The people there know more than the average peasant. You are a good boy.
This must be Jorvik. The Order of Ancients lurk in its streets and alleys. My old friends Jor and Lufina live here. Settled near this harbor. Someone should. Hjor and Lufina settled near this harbor. Someone should know where to find them. My friend, could you help me find some of my people? I'm looking for Hjor and Lufina. Hjor? I know him. Are you a friend? I am. Then you will get no help from me, or any of the other merchants for that matter. Now, if you don't mind. Hmm. It's bitter. But Hjor wronged him somehow. Little one, can you help me? I'm looking for some friends. Do the names Hjor and Lufina mean anything to you? I think I know that name. A woman. She's from Biamiland. Very smart. She sounded funny, so I asked her once. Hope it wasn't rude of me. You want to speak to the dot master, Grigory? I've seen him talking with her before. My thanks. I'm looking for some friends. Been told to ask around this harbor. Lufina and Hjorn. <laughs> oh, sure, I know plenty. Of that, I'm certain. And what about me? What about my... Move along now. We've had a clean dock in Jorvik. You must be the Dark Master. What gave it away? Everyone hates you. As I just explained to your friend there, if your wares have been seized, take it up with the Council. These merchants are not my friends, but I'm looking for some. Hjor and Lufina. You know Hjor and Lufina? What business do you have with them? We know each other from Norway. Bid farewell to that land, but not to old friends. You may be glad to hear they fare quite well in Jorvik. It does not surprise me. They're driven. And so am I. Now I would like to see them again. In a manor surrounded by flowers. That's where Kjor and Yufina live. How about some coin for my trouble? How about I cut out your tongue? Forget I said anything. Manor? 
Pure and Lufrina have done well for themselves. 